When it comes to your email marketing list uh, for your business, and just right now let me stop and say if you don't have one, if you're not actively building one, you really need to start doing that. Uh, send me a message if you're not and I'll show you how you can get started very quickly and very affordably. But when it comes to that list, it's a really valuable resource for your business. It's a true asset, but what should you prioritize? Is it all about growing the quantity, i.e. the number of subscribers on your list, or is it about quality, how well those people are engaging, whether they're reading your content, whether they're becoming more trusting of you uh, as you sort of guide them through that journey and ultimately whether they buy from you, which of the two is more important? Uh, I often see a lot of businesses focus very heavily on the quantity side of things. So the sheer number of people subscribed onto their email marketing list on MailChimp or Active Campaign or uh, any of those kind of platforms, that's often seen as a objective or a KPI. Just we want to grow that number, we want to see it grow over time. Uh, just like you want to see the stock market grow or, or anything like that. So it's not uncommon for businesses to really focus on that number and say, you know, how many more subscribers did we add this month or this week? But more important than that, in my opinion, is the quality of your list. So how well does that list, how well do the subscribers actually interact? Do they open your emails? Do they read them? Do they click on the things you link to? And more importantly, do they ultimately turn into new business opportunities? Because that is far more important. Uh, there's no reason to have a giant list if all the people on it don't really interact at all. Uh, it's better off, in my opinion, to actually have something smaller and more compact and almost more targeted than having a great big email list that you know makes you feel good because the, the numbers are there, but the actual underlying performance isn't as good as it could be. So there's two key reasons why I think you want to focus on quality over quantity. The first is that it's actually much easier to manage a smaller list that's more engaged. And the reason for that is that you've got less people you have to deal with. So, for example, if you have a giant list, and I've looked after lists as big as about 250,000, which was the largest I looked after, when you'd send out an email campaign, say a newsletter, you'd get loads and loads of replies back from people saying, I want to unsubscribe. And they couldn't work out where the unsubscribe link was in the email, or they'd signed up with an alias email address that forwarded through and they couldn't work out how to stop receiving the emails. I mean, I had someone uh, threaten to fly down from Wellington and murder whoever was sending out the emails when I worked in one job because they couldn't work out how to get themselves off the list. But those responses were just coming thick and fast because we were sending to so many people and the message was quite widely targeted. The list wasn't particularly uh, precise in its targeting. So there was a lot more management involved. And when you have that huge number of subscribers, there is always more management, there's always more complexity. So if you have a smaller list that's more engaged, it's actually easier to connect on a closer level with the subscribers and hopefully that will turn into more business. And the second point is that if you have fewer subscribers, you're probably going to pay less to actually run your email marketing. And the reason for that is most email marketing tools are basically priced on how many people are subscribed. So I use Active Campaign very heavily and I encourage a few of my clients to use it depending on their needs and that scales based on how many people are on your list. Same with MailChimp and uh, Aweber and all those kind of systems all tend to do it. So if you can have a list of 500 people that are super, super engaged and always opening what you're sending out and, and clicking and turning into business and you're growing it slowly, well, that's probably better than having 50,000 people, but only a handful of them actually bother reading because you've just grown numbers for the sake of numbers. So just have a think about that. If you're prioritizing list growth because it feels good, just have another think and just make sure that your your activity and your goals are really aligned with what, with what actually matters, which is uh, ultimately generating more business. And maybe the pathway to that is to have a smaller list, a more compact and, and uh, precisely targeted list that ultimately performs better. If you're not sure how to work out whether your email marketing is performing or not, and maybe you're not sure what the right strategy is for your business, feel free to send me a message or email info at samfrost.co.nz and I'd be glad to help you out.